Hello. In this particular video, I want to talk about two key features that we have added in 9.0. So to access that features, which is called overload protection, we go to configuration, click on administration and see a new tab called overload protection. So clicking on overload protection would open this page where we have two segments, the disk space. So this is user settable guardrails. What this literally means is that if you set the first tab as 80%, so the system will start showing you warnings at 80% and let you know that you need to clear up those reports, older reports, so that you have enough disk space to write for the new tests. Similarly, uh, user can also set, an admin user can also set the guardrail for a, a disk uh, utilization where a new test execution and statistics saving will be stopped so that we don't run out of the disk space. Similarly, the user can also set a guardrail for stopping uh, executing of uh, tests when a disk space exceeds certain guardrail limit. That would ensure that all your reports are being saved and you do not have issues or errors and instabilities that have that, that is caused due to disk space exhaustion. 9.0 also introduces a new and interesting mode which is called protection mode. So in protection mode, the system itself ensures that for any test that the customer has configured, they have enough resources allocated to it uh, so that it doesn't cause test instabilities during runtime. So let's do a quick demo of how this protection mode works. So I have opened a new test uh, where it's configured with certain applications and we have allocated two ports in the in this perfect storm one where I'm trying to run this test. So since protection mode is enabled, which will be enabled by default, it detects that the two uh, ports that I have reserved for the perfect storm is not enough and you would see a, a, a error when you click on the test status and that error would say exactly how many more ports that needs to be reserved for this to run so that in during the runtime you do not get all those resource exhaustions memory errors and possible crashes because you are using too fewer resource for for a test that demands much more than that so the moment i go since it's asked me to allocate one more i click and allocate one more port and when i go back hopefully this test status has shifted from red to amber which is still has some warnings but those warnings are mostly for oversubscribed throughput and things like that but however the inconsistencies that were present which would have certainly caused issues during runtime uh, would not be seen now that we have followed the guidelines as specified by the protection mode the protection mode is introduced as a checkbox so you can if you want disable the protection mode uh, and try to run a test which is otherwise disallowed by protection mode. However, we would strongly recommend not to do it because if a protection mode has detected that you don't have enough resources, it has good reasons to say that. And if you still go ahead and run it, disabling it, then you might see inconsistencies, issues and errors that could not be resolved otherwise than to have more resources. Thank you.